finally back after, uh, I believe, like, ten days in total since my last video. I wrote down a little, uh, community post as to why, uh, I've been on a tiny bit of a break, uh, not voluntary, because my, uh, my computer, which I record everything and I edit everything on, uh, blew up around, uh, exactly ten days ago, or maybe it was like a week ago, so I wanted to make this little quick video to sort of update and, uh, kind of give the entire story of what happened, because, you know, it was a whole week of me not having a computer to do anything with. I was just left with my, uh, my Xbox and my phone, so that was fun, but, um, yeah, no, uh, as you may not know, I live in Florida, and, uh, it's now summertime in the States, uh, in this side of the hemisphere, so we've been getting a lot of rain, uh, and thunderstorms, so one of the first, uh, thunderstorms we had, um, I took a nap while it was happening, and in the middle of my nap, I hear a very, very loud pop, like, like a firecracker went off in my room, or like if you took like five poppets, or maybe even like ten poppets, and you like combined the decibel levels that that would create, and uh, it just went off in my room, and I was, I was dead asleep, and uh, this sound uh, jostled me awake immediately, like I jumped up in my bed, and um, it was so quick that I saw the lights in my room come back on, because uh, my neighborhood, or maybe even my apartment, got hit with lightning, or some uh, power station, or an electrical line got hit with lightning, so uh, a storm surge, basically. Uh, took out my PC, and I was so stressed out, man. I immediately went to Google and Reddit and everything to see if, like, my PC was okay. Uh, obviously, uh, I got up and I pressed the power button, and it would not turn on. So, I went all over the internet, uh, basically figured out that my power supply unit uh, blew up because of the uh, overload, because of the, uh, the lightning and the, the storm surge. And my PC is connected to a, uh, a surge protector, but I guess it wasn't as good. Uh, or maybe it was old. I don't know, but it's gone now, and I have a new one, and uh, it looks pretty nice. It's got a lot more outlets to it looks a lot more uh, professional. But yeah, it also said on the internet that uh, whenever this happens, it uh, usually uh, isn't just a power supply unit issue, which the power supply unit of a computer is what powers everything. It's the one that's connected to, it powers your computer, so it's connected to whatever outlet it's plugged into, and it supplies power to everything else. Uh, Usually, when lightning uh, takes out your power supply unit, it could uh, fry other parts of your computer. So, for example, if it hits the motherboard, which the power supply unit is connected to, uh, the, power, uh, the, uh, the motherboard is connected to everything else in the computer, like the graphics card and the, uh, the, the, the processor, everything. Um, if the motherboard gets fried, then it could it could spread to everywhere else. So, needless to say, I was extremely stressed out for uh, the first couple days. But the day after, I uh, went ahead and took it to Best Buy, which is, it's a pre-built PC, so I, I got it off of Best Buy. I know it's very, it's very rookie stuff, but I didn't have many options, as I'm not really a a hardware savvy person, not yet at the very least, but um, yeah, I took it to Best Buy, and I went up to the table uh, at the Geek Squad department, um, which 
which is the place that they do repairs on stuff. And uh, I, I just said, like, I need a, a diagnosis for this. And the lady there was like, um, does it turn on? And I said, no, because the power supply unit blew up. It does not turn on. And I need to, I need to know how much damage has been done. And she was basically like, well, we can't do anything. We can't diagnose it because your PC will not turn on. We can only diagnose stuff if your PC can turn on. And I was very confused. I almost didn't believe it. I actually looked up uh, the sort of guidelines for repairs at Best Buy on their website, and it said the exact opposite, that they will fix stuff like PCs that won't turn on. It literally says that on their website. So needless to say, I was extremely confused and um, very frustrated uh, with Best Buy um, after that. So they turned me down. Uh, but my friend who lives in the same uh, apartment complex as I do, uh, he texted me saying uh, he could get the PC repaired for like a hundred dollars uh, because he has like a subscription for something so I hit him up and uh, We start talking about it. He basically uh, used to own a subscription for you break I fix by Asurian and uh, basically what it is is uh, I think you pay $25 a month to keep this subscription going and whatever kind of uh, repair that you take it in for. So let's say uh, he had a, um, a PS5 that got hit with lightning and the repair w was like, it was $300 uh, or the, the, the piece was $100 or $300, sorry. So the piece that needed to be replaced was 300, but he took it in. And because he had this subscription, it was 100. Uh, and that's including uh, labor as well, which is insane. Uh, so we try to work this out. Um, he puts a claim in, because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to put like a claim into uh, you break I fixes like website. And then they, uh, they get back to you, and then you can take in your stuff with the claim uh, and all of that. But uh, we found out that he did not have the, uh, the subscription anymore. So he tried to pay the subscription again uh, under the same, like, uh, uh, account. And uh, the thing about that is that when you do that, uh, you cannot file a claim uh, until like 30 days have passed. Uh, so when I figured that out, I was, I was all like, I thought it was going to be okay. And I would only have to pay a hundred dollars after I got turned away from Best Buy. So I was really frustrated. And then I was like, Oh my God, we're saved. And then I went straight back to, Oh God, I am stressed out again. So uh, it was a roller coaster, to say the least. Uh, so, uh, in the end, I took it to You Break I Fix anyway, uh, despite not having the subscription, because nobody else was going to fix it, unless I got, like, my computer science friends to, to give it a look. Um, but no, I was, I was not going to do that. Um, so I took it in You Break I Fix. They said it would take like two to three days for a diagnosis. That's usually free, but because it's a PC and they have to like take it apart, it had to be, it, it, it cost a little bit. Um, so they gave me like a cheaper alternative that also saved me money in the, uh, the final repair. It just signed me up for, I think the same subscription. So I have to cancel that soon, but, uh, yeah, so they said it took a couple uh, days for the uh, diagnosis. And then the same day that I took it in, they called me like a couple hours, like literally two hours after I dropped it off. Uh, and basically, uh, they reached the diagnosis.
explosives and fortunately it was just the power supply unit that was uh, busted so hallelujah thank god it was just the power supply unit because that's like one of the uh, cheapest things on a computer so yeah the final cost was around um 275 to 300 but i think that's also because i saved money with the uh the alternative like uh, uh subscription thing as opposed to uh the the original 60 dollars to get a diagnosis um so yeah it, it wasn't all bad um i definitely got a little lucky for sure considering that uh it's it's uh pretty common for there to be further damage than just the power supply unit but um yeah they said it would take a couple days like two to three days to get it fixed because they have to order the part and stuff uh and then it took like seven days which is wild uh but not unheard of i guess uh i had a call after like five days uh and they're like, oh yeah, we uh, we didn't realize that we needed a different cord to uh, connect the power supply to the graphics card, so we're just waiting on another cord. So that's why it took that long. So I was like, okay, no problem. So in the time that it uh, took to wait, uh, a bunch of things happened. Um, so the first few days, uh, I was left with only my phone and my xbox so i had a lot of time to myself uh because i couldn't do any asmr stuff i couldn't do like editing personal projects i couldn't even play uh, online games uh with my friends unless i got like on multiverses or i downloaded fortnite on my xbox which i did and i realized i was really bad at it on console so uh, I stuck to a lot of like single player stuff um, so I played uh, Prey uh, 2017 again it was probably like my fifth or sixth playthrough uh, ever and it was so fun uh, like it always is and it like it fueled my my creative side and I think if I keep this motivation going, I think I might make a uh, video essay on the entirety of Prey 2017 and why it's like so good in my opinion and uh, why it's underrated and why it's in my top three video games of all time. I would say so. Uh, so I played through all of Prey. So I started playing Prey. And, uh, well, I played through all of Prey, and I started writing a script for that video essay. Um, and now that I have my PC, I can start recording footage of it, and then start writing uh, a further script based on the footage. Um, but we'll see about that. That might be on the back burner for now, now that I'm finally in the groove of, of making videos and all that stuff. Uh, but I also played uh, Slay the Spire again, finally got back into that, so I may go ahead and make a Slay the Spire video uh, pretty soon. I only have uh, one Slay the Spire video, but there's like, there's three characters that you can play as, so I figured maybe I'll just play as the second character for the second video, and you know, so on and so forth. Actually, I think there's four characters in Slay the Spire. Uh, I just haven't unlocked the final one. But yeah, also, uh, after the first couple days were over of waiting for my PC to come back uh, repaired, I got sick uh, with something. Uh, it wasn't like a traditional kind of sickness. It was. It wasn't like a, a cough or a cold flu kind of thing. It was more like, uh, my heartbeat was, like, really intense, and I could feel it very strong in my neck, and that was awful. There were 
some days where I could just like not move at all or else like it would get pretty bad. It's very strange, but I uh I kept my cool uh because half a year ago I had like a similar issue and I thought I was going to die. Uh so I learned from that and um I just waited for it to go away and yesterday uh, I finally started, like, walking around without, uh, needing to lay down for hours. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I think I am very much recovered, considering I can, uh, sit up in my chair and talk on and on. Uh, so, yeah. We are recovered. And, uh... Yeah, I just need to get back into running, because uh, before I got sick, I was pretty much running every day, and I, I've been talking about this uh, a little bit on the channel, but I, uh, I have been training for a marathon, maybe. I might join the marathon with my friends. My friends have been, like, uh, persuading me and, like, hyping me up. Uh, as well as each other, um, to prepare for this marathon, so I've been running, like, longer and longer distances, like, each day, as long as I can, like, handle it and stuff, which has been very, very nice, and, uh, it's, it's very, very good for me, but, um, when I fell sick, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't do that, <laughs> I couldn't run anymore, uh, so, I just need to wait until I'm good, like I'm, I'm, I'm good to go, and then I'll start running again. Uh, but yeah, I think that covers pretty much, like, the entire story. Uh, it was, it was a bit of a mess, uh, these la this, like, last week, uh, but I, you know, consumed a lot of media in that time. Uh, I watched a couple of things, uh, for one, I watched the entirety of, uh, Berserk, uh, but not the, the terrible 2016 version, and not the really old, like, 90s version. I watched the, uh, the golden, the golden age arc, I think it's called. Um, I, I've already read the entire series, but, uh, I finally found that, uh, arc, on Crunchyroll, so I watched all the way through that, and that has actually catapulted me into the manga again, so I am now, ignore the cars outside, it's like uh, noon right now, so people are, are busy drag racing, I guess, but um, yeah, I am uh, back into rereading Berserk, and I love it so much, um, I strongly recommend uh, if, uh, that's your thing, but only if that's your thing, uh, wouldn't want, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to, uh, my PC blew up, I had to get it repaired, I played some video games by myself, and, uh, I got sick, and then I got better. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the, uh, the gameplay of, uh, Enter the Gungeon. I, uh, I recorded that, like, an hour ago. And, uh, I didn't really get that far, because it's been a while since I've played that game. It's kind of one of those games that you just, uh, kind of come back to after a while. And it's very inviting to do so, uh, but that's why I'm, I'm not that good at it every time I come back, because I'm not used to it, anyway, um, yeah, I'm back, basically, and I've got a whole bunch of things that I want to make videos on, and they will be coming out pretty soon, uh, so, yeah, thank you guys for all of the support in the last week, and for uh, keeping up with the fact that I have stopped 
appreciate the concern, and uh, I appreciate you guys waiting uh, very patiently. So, yeah. Uh, enjoy yourself, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.